but some of these folks have been here since very early this morning, braving some very cold temperatures to stake out their spot. And, you know, they do. They they come in at, at uh, 5, 6 a.m. sometimes. Hey, there's the sheriff right there. Sheriff, sheriff Sam, Sam Cochran. Cochran. Leading the posse this morning uh, as our Order of Athena parade gets ready to start. And I want to remind you also, speaking of parades, at 10 o'clock this morning, the Gulf Shores parade rolled. News 5's Debbie Williams is down there covering that parade. We're going to be bringing you video of that coming up a little bit later in the day in case you weren't able to get down to Gulf Shores and see that one. Right. And the sheriff and his posse there, they're looking mighty dapper in their hats as they ride by. They look great. The horses are absolutely beautiful and extraordinarily well behaved. And you, you can imagine for those horses, what a what a great life. I mean, they those are some well cared for for horses there. They look beautiful. And again, you can see as they are making their way, uh, they're heading north on Royal Street. You can see the very first float peeking around the corner. We're getting our first glimpse at that float. That's right. That will be the uh, the executive board president, uh, the uh, President Kelly, I believe, will be on the very first float leading the parade of the Order of Athena this morning. And of course, we've got a full slate of parades for later on in the day, but this is the first one you'll see in downtown Mobile. The excitement building among people along the parade route this morning. And that first float, the executive board float, it got a facelift this year. So as it comes by our cameras, we'll get a really good look at that facelift. Literally, Athena got a new face and a new body oh, for really? this float. Really, <laughs> literally, John wow. got a facelift. And you can imagine this is a real treat, too, for law enforcement to be in the, they're always out in the community, but to be in a situation like this, riding the horses as they go by, that's got to be a, a, a nice uh, part of the job. All right, and then, uh, of course, in just a couple of minutes, they'll crank up the airboat fan. Oh, my goodness. No, I'm just kidding. Hope they don't <laughs> go far. That. that mask would not stay on if they cranked up the airboat fan. Those are, those are some of the loudest things in the world, I think, when you get those things really revved up good, but uh, they use this for certain operations for the Mobile Sheriff's Department. Department. A lot of folks with the Mobile Sheriff's Department here with us uh, this morning. Right, and a and, lot of uh, volunteers, too. Right? Oh, a lot of volunteers. Yes, sir. Uh, there are a few of them right now. They're getting to the throw, throw the beads. And in just a few minutes, our uh, first float of the Order of Athena will be passing by. Again, we're going to be at this all day long today. Marshal Dave, Marshal Joe leading the way for the Order of Athena, ladies. And we've mentioned before, we're in a bubble here on our set, so we are blocked from the beads that would be tossed our way. But you can see them. Beads are flying in downtown Mobile as the Order of Athena. The first parade of the day starts rolling through the streets of Mobile. And there's the new uh, Athena float, and uh, looking good there, Athena, there she along is. with brand new serpents to pull her <laughs> chariot. <laughs> well, we ordered up new serpents for Mardi Gras. We had to. New giant serpent. And I believe that's President that's Kelly President right there. President Kelly right there. Where she wanted to be as a little girl. Uh -huh. Wasn't that a nice story? I don't know if you were part of our, our first hour of broadcast, if you were tuning in there. But President Kelly told us this is something that she has dreamed about since she was a little girl. Standing along the parade route, she wanted to be in that, did she call it a teacup? Is that a teacup? Oh my did I make the teacup part up? Maybe it's a chariot. Uh, I'll, I'll go with that. If you, if you I, I thought she said teacup, but hello. Ooh. Steam breathing serpents along the parade route. You know Mardi Gras is ready when the serpents start start right. spewing out smoke, right? <laughs> oh, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> the things you get to see in Mobile, Alabama that you may not see anywhere else. And of course, true to Mobile form, moon pies being tossed oh, yeah. off the float. All right, this would be the theme. Athena goes pink this year. And, and this is the planning board and the emblem float. There's the emblem up there. I believe that was emblem Pam, was it? And the theme of this year's parade is displayed on ancient Greek scrolls. You'll notice that as it goes by. You notice all through the parade, you you will see all things pink, including the pink panther, pink elephants. <laughs> Wind pigs fly. Pink pigs. Pink pigs. Pretty in pink. Now on the emblem float, you'll see emblem Pam, who is dressed in her warrior attire, along with the Order of Athena's planning board. You can imagine how much work goes into planning a parade, any Mardi Gras parade. So the, the Order of Athena is certainly no different. This, this is the group of ladies who actually made this parade happen.
They've done a fantastic job. And of course, each year when we provide our live coverage here of Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday, the Order of Athena is uh, one of our very first interviews of the day as they get set to roll in the first parade of the day. So it's always a treat to welcome those ladies onto our broadcast and talk with them, find out what their theme is all about, and, uh, and hear from them. And each year they have great stories to tell, like President Kelly told us about being a little girl and wanting to be on the float, but also a little bit about their organization made up entirely of ladies, and they cajole, ask, encourage their, their men to come in and help. You know, this, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this float right here, the emblem float, it's a brand new one, as we mentioned. It is a nice addition to Athena's Parade, and you're going to see it for years to come. But this is the brand new emblem float. Beautiful. They've done a very nice job. And it's got the Temple of Athena right there. How convenient. One of my favorite parts of the Mardi Gras Parade, the music. And certainly you can certainly hear that in the background as this parade rolls by. All right, we've got Marshall Frank and Marshall Robin on horseback leading the way for our next float. And check out these guys. They're always a part of Mardi Gras with us. This is a fun crew right here, and, and, and got their little buggies de decked out every time you see them rolling through the streets of downtown hey, Mobile. Happy, happy, I'm pretty happy with my ball. I'm pretty happy with my ball. You know what? I'm pretty happy with my ball. Over here. No shortage of stuffed animals with those guys, huh? <laughs> Not at all. That's what makes the uh, the really little kids happy, the stuffed animals. I know when we used to come to Mardi Gras with my son, young son Jack, he always liked the swords. The swords were the I'm gonna best I'm going to keep part. it real, though, here. And I'm going to say I've seen some of the stuffed animals thrown in various parades, and some of them have been recycled a few times. Other parents out there can hear me on that. The recycled stuffed animals <laughs> don't actually make it back home with us. <laughs> All right, there's all right. the Pink Panther, all things pink in the order of Athena. The Pink Panther depicts a scene right out of Hollywood as the Pink Panther appears to jump from the drum with his musical instrument friends and riders are dressed in their Inspector trench coats, Inspector Clouseau. And their pink trench coats, pink no trench less. Coats. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da. Is that Peter Sellers? <laughs> Does your Doug bite? <laughs> that is not my Doug. Tell me the security guard. Ah, there it is. Very nice. I like it. Have Pink you guys Panther. ever taken a little trip in a bubble ball? Not uh, lately. No. Have you run around in a bubble ball? It looks kind of like the hamster, the hamster wheel of sorts, <laughs> but for humans. Or Darth Vader in this case. Or Darth Vader is enjoying the bubble ball here at Mardi Gras. The mega bubble ball. Does look like it'd be fun though. Had a way to stop it. <laughs> and the music coming by is provided by DJ Big Show. One of the truck bands, many truck bands that you'll see in the Mardi Gras parades here at Mobile. Here right. comes Bill's truck. Is that the same truck Emily DeVoe was telling us about earlier? It was, but that's the paddy wagon right there. There's there the is. one you were talking about. So, Bill, they didn't let you drive it, huh? Not yet. There's still, the day is still young. <laughs> still yeah. a lot of parading to do. The float coming behind it, we just got a quick glimpse of it, but it's, uh, well, it's got a little saying I always like to say on it. Lipstick fixes everything, gentlemen. <laughs> Not so much for you guys, though, but lipstick fixes everything. That's coming right behind this big mega truck. All right, I'm guessing it's pink lipstick. That would be my guess. I'm going to say, is that Papa Smurf hanging from this truck? What are they doing to Papa Smurf? Boy, that took a lot of work, didn't it? You hope they have good spotters for that truck as it's going by. Make sure there's nobody anywhere near the tires. Looks like the little Jeep trying to catch up to them, but it's got a little ways to go. A little ways upwards, that is. Madison! 
You know what I keep thinking as I see the big trucks? Big wheels keep on turning. <laughs> <laughs> Proud Mary would like this next float right here. There it is. There she is. Lipstick fixes everything. Now, is it just my imagination or are people throwing a lot more stuff this year? They just seem to be throwing tons of stuff. Is that JB? <laughs> JB has on managed there. to get in the parade. Are, is anybody up here surprised I'm that not surprised JP, at all. JB not at all. is with the ladies of the Order of Athena? That float, the big hot lips in pink and red rolling down the streets of Mobile with giant lipsticks and makeup mirrors because you can't put on your lipstick without your makeup all mirrors. All right. Well, I can say we better get a story out of this, JB. <laughs> that is hilarious. Right in the middle of things here on Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras, downtown Mobile, the Order of Athena Parade rolling along with the Deep South DJ and karaoke. I wonder if they're singing karaoke on there. Well, I hope she's hanging on to the side of that truck. Oh, she's look strapped look in just like yeah. those guys on the fence. They were she looks like it's not her first something. Mardi Gras, though. She knows what she's doing. right behind that uh, truck band. That is, those are the Black Dynasty dance girls showing off their moves. And the younger generation dancers as well. <laughs> Keep it moving, girls. It'll stay warm that way. Spur Saloon is where you will find these ladies pretty in pink and wicked in spurs. Oh. Their costumes, as you can see there, are black satin western dresses with hot pink yolks and fringe complete with western boots and hats and hopefully a lot of layers. And some giant hats on the front there. They got the whole saloon right on the float. I wonder if they're serving beverages there at that <laughs> saloon. One would assume. Very nice. You're watching the Order of Athena Parade live in downtown Mobile. Our coverage of Mardi Gras 2016 continues this morning. A beautiful day. Look at the blue sky behind all these parades. Chilly temperatures out there, but it does, does not seem to be worrying anybody in the crowd at all right now. Well, they're all jumping around. I think that's uh, probably something JD was talking about earlier. That's the thing is once once you once the parades start and you really start grooving with the music, then you really start to uh, turn up some of that body heat. Have we seen the Mobile Bay Bears yet? They're just, they're on the lineup. You did see them go by. Yeah, well, they are on the lineup. They are parading with the Order of Athena. We missed them on the camera, but the Mobile Bay Bears are part of this parade. All right, that's TNT Entertainment. Entertaining. It's all very entertaining, as my daughter likes to say. We are moving and grooving. <laughs> Your, your daughter says that? She does. Oh, my goodness. Really? Yes. And if we aren't, if music comes on and we're not, she looks at me and says, Mommy, why are we not moving and grooving? <laughs> Dude <laughs> buggies. She's a trip. Dude <laughs> buggies. That's the uh, ABBA Shrine Temple Motor Corps. Those guys have a lot of fun. Another big truck. John, there's there's a truck for you now. All right. We can All right, race. You guys sing it with me this time. Big wheels yeah. keep on turning. No, no, it's no a solo. You're on your own. I think.
And of course, in the background, you see the mounds of dirt. We've been talking about that this morning. That is where the new Mardi Gras Park will be built. Groundbreaking has already happened on it. This time next year, that will be a beautiful uh, park with risers you for know, the, people the, to sit the, in. The guys in these trucks are eyeing all that dirt over there going, I sure <laughs> wish I could drive over there. <laughs> I would love to drive over there. All right, here's our another. Here's the next float. Anybody have a sweet tooth in the audience? This is Sweet Tooth Pink. Candyland princesses dressed in bright candy colors can be found riding the Sweet Tooth float, which is decorated with a large candy cottage, ice cream, assorted candies, and a gingerbread girl. And I know John plays all the time, but how about you? You have kids. Have you played Candyland lately? It's we have not is. yet started the Candyland game, but it is one of my childhood favorites, so I'm sure we'll get into it. And I, and I should tell you that the Candyland float, which has already gone by, is dedicated to two Athena members, Jeanette and Ginger, who passed away in April and in December. So that float was dedicated to them. I, I'm assuming they probably had sweet tooth. Well, Marshall's there. Marshall Jeffrey and Marshall Terry with the Order of Athena. There's Chico. Ah. Chico another truck he's, got dance. A, he's got his own truck now. He's he is such a Mardi Gras fixture. He is Mardi Gras famous. That uh, he has his own his own thing going. And his own tuxedo, John. He got the memo. He's wearing a tuxedo just like you, John. Wade McCullum, actually, his name. Some people call him Soup Bone, but I think most people know him as Chico. Oh, and you can't have a truck band without having the dancers to follow behind him. They are moving and grooving. That's the Adiva Tigerettes dancing behind them. No shortage of rhythm on this parade. Check it out. All right, it's time for those pink elephants I was telling you about. You knew they'd show up sooner or later. You know it in Mardi Gras and Fat Tuesday. Somebody's going to see some pink elephants. I hope we're not fooling anybody here. <laughs> this yeah. is the, the seventh float of the Order of Athena parade. It shows the scene of the famous Disney movie where Dumbo sees double and pink elephants after, uh, he sees double and pink elephants after sipping on some champagne. Uh -huh. I can tell you, that was a scary part of that movie. <laughs> I actually don't remember this part of the movie. I don't remember champagne being in Dumbo. You remember that, Timothy Mouse tries to stop Dumbo from taking a sip. The riders are dressed here as Timothy, the circus band director, in black satin and red suits with gold trim. You know, as a mom, I the things that I didn't notice as a child watching some of these movies, I have now discovered are being slipped into these chi children's movies like The Champagne and Dumbo. Who knew? I did not know that as a child. <laughs> I've been educated. More dancers. Uh, that would be... Kelly's Dance Academy. Oh, okay. They're sporting some uh, blingy gold tops. Ooh. They're probably a little chilly. I'm uh, thinking. Glad fish. they're moving around. Going to have to have to stay warm. They're from Biola Battery. Biola Battery, South Mobile County. Well, let's get you caught up. Uh, how about when pigs fly? Huh? Huh? When pigs fly, the famous pig we've all grown to love on television commercials, Maxwell, goes ziplining. Wow. Very cool. He's got those safety harnesses. We saw some someone in the crowd uh, with some safety harnesses oh tying them to a gate on the parade route. This pig is, <laughs> is tied on to the float. He doesn't want to go anywhere. Yes, He's squealing, Wee! You know, the order, the, the order of Athena ladies will tell you right after this parade, they start planning for next year's uh, Mardi Gras parade and building their floats and what the design and the theme and all that's going to be. 
And, uh, boy, this takes some imagination. You know? Absolutely. You know, just coming up with the theme alone, the president of this year's um, parade, she said that she's been thinking of this theme for six or seven years, long right. before she knew she would actually be president and get to carry it out. But it's something that she was, the wheels were already turning in her head. And, she, of course, the, uh, the float building goes on all year long. In fact, as soon as uh, Mardi Gras is over, maybe as early as tomorrow, They'll start taking off all of the uh, paper mache here and, and taking them down to the, the bare trucks and starting over. And the costumes, that takes planning as well. The riders on the Wind Pigs Fly float, that's float number eight of this parade, they're dressed in their pink satin, wings, and a curly tail. Of course, you got to have a little pig's tail. <laughs> now, that's pretty funny. i got to tell you, that is pretty funny. Well, we've got the Apple uh, Abba Temple Hillbillies. Yeehaw! Fort City Boggers, right behind. Oh, those guys know how to have a good time. They are always entertaining on the parade route. Nothing to. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we do have something to dread. Dread, dread. <laughs> They've got a theme, uh, I think. <laughs> I would have thought they'd have their pink dread sign this year, <laughs> but. They kept it traditional. Everybody knows right, the memo. They... And the Abba Temple clowns making their way down the parade route. That's what happens when you go I think he needs more layers on. I don't know. Maybe clowns don't get cold. I don't think clowns get cold. Well, they have that uh, that red nose. It keeps them, keeps them warm. I'm, I'm starting nomads. to get the red nose. <laughs> <laughs> the nomad clowns. Because you know why? Because they're never mad. Right. Never mad. Well, this is the Iron Bowl for Jill. The Iron Bowl cheerleaders are wearing their true team colors. The float is a scene of a true pink tailgate party at the Iron Bowl. So, of course, you got a little roll tide, a little war eagle there on that float. And this float is dedicated to the memory of one of Athena's members, Jill, who passed away in March after a tragic automobile accident. So so this float is, is a big football fan. I wonder which team she cheered for. Now. I can only guess. That would be like asking you what team you cheer for. <laughs> <laughs> I cheer for all of them. All right, the Order of Athena. They're rolling through downtown Mobile right now. Uh, for a lot of folks on the parade route, uh, as I said, uh, they get two shots at it on Government Street. To see this uh, fine parade the ladies of the Order of Athena have put together for us this morning. These are the South Alabama Trikers. As Bill was mentioning, if you're if you are planting yourself over at Spanish Plaza, that's where you get the, the two shots at the parade, yep. two shots at the throws, because uh, the parade route goes up Government Street, and then it comes back down. And of course, bring up the tail, the fire trucks. There they are. Hello. Mobile Fire Department always uh, bring up the tail of each of the parades. And you know, so much work goes into these parades, both before, after, and of course, steering. And, and there they are representing the fire department. Of course, this is our first only, the first parade of today in downtown Mobile. There is much, 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 much more to come <laughs> here on this Fat All Tuesday. Right. There they go. That puts the first parade of 2016 Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday in the books. The Order of Athena. All right. A nice job by the Order of Athena. The theme of that parade, as you saw, was pink. I think they did a fine job with it. It was so nice to hear from the ladies from the Order of Athena who joined us this morning. Hey, we've got much more to come, as I just said. We're going to take a little break. We'll come right back. More of our live coverage here 
2016's Mardi Gras Day, Fat Tuesday, downtown Mobile. And Bill, you and I will be saying goodbye and turning it over to Devin Walsh and Pete Albright. All right, I think I'll go head down to the street and see what's happening there. Maybe get in the sunshine. Thanks for joining us. Stay with us.